uh, we have seen the symbols in the previous segment. Now using those symbols, we are going to plot the pedigrees and we'll understand how we plot the pedigree and how we interpret the genotype of the offspring. So let us write down one case or one uh, question we can say. And, in, uh, and here we are talking about an autosomal recessive condition, an intermediate skin colored man marries an albino woman. First line. They have three children. First two are daughters and the third child is a son. Second line. The first daughter marries an intermediate skin color person. An intermediate skin color person or man. Now we are talking about this generation. They have one son and one daughter. The son is albino. Question is, give the genotype of all. Now, it is not necessary that they're going to ask us the genotype of all whenever we have questions in the exams, but because we want to interpret, uh, interpret each and every genotype, that's why we are trying to find out the genotype of all. Now, let us first draw the pedigree using this complete question. Now, the question starts with an intermediate skin color man marries an albino woman. The things that we have to remember here is that albinism is an autosomal recessive disorder. Plus, when we talked about this condition, when we were discussing polygenic inheritance, we said that skin color is decided by or controlled by three genes. If you remember or if you are able to recall, we wrote them as capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C. That means all six dominant where maximum melanin production takes place. And all recessive, that means there is no melanin production and that results into an albino formation. So what we used was homozygous for all three genes, which was called black. That means maximum pigment production. And all recessive, we called it as albino. And when we were talking about the intermediate, we took Bit intermediate between these two. That means three dominant alleles and three recessive alleles. So heterozygous A, heterozygous B and heterozygous C was used as or was representing the intermediate. Now when we plot pedigree, we don't use three genes. We use only one gene and two alleles. So to represent intermediate, we would use heterozygous condition. So it will be represent by, represented by heterozygous, that means one dominant allele, one recessive allele. Albino will be represented by recessive, that means here we would represent it as homozygous recessive. So this is for our understanding that when we study uh, skin color inheritance, we take it as polygenic inheritance. But when we have to plot it using pedigree, we are going to take it as a single gene representing the trait. Okay, let us come to this. 
an intermediate skin color man. So her pedigree starts like this. Marries an albino woman. What are we trying to trace here? We are trying to trace albinism. That means this female is affected. So this is a normal mating. The male has intermediate skin. So for intermediate, we would write heterozygous. And albinism, that means there is no dominant gene. So female is homozygous recessive. They have three children. So let us draw the next generation. They have three children. The first two are daughters. That means this is a daughter. The second is also a daughter. And the third is a son. So using the symbols, we have represented their offsprings. The first daughter, that means we are talking about this daughter, marries an intermediate skin man. So now she gets married and the man has intermediate. What are we going to use to represent intermediate? We would use heterozygous condition. They have one son and one daughter. Now we are talking about their offsprings. And they have one son. First is son. One son and one daughter. They have one son and one daughter. The son is albino. That means here the genotype is going to be homozygous recessive. Son is albino and give the genotype of all. So we have written the genotype on the basis of the information which was given to us in the question. Now let us interpret what is going to happen. The mother has both recessive genes. That means all three children are going to receive one gene from the father and one allele or one allele from father and one allele from the mother. What are they going to receive from the mother? Mother has only recessive. That means they have received small a from mother, small a from mother, and small a from mother. Now, nothing is mentioned about them. That means the question doesn't say that they are albino. So we assume that they have intermediate skin color. To have intermediate, they must have received this dominant a from the father. So dominant a from father. A from father and A from father. That means they all have heterozygous with intermediate skin color. Now, how is this son albino? This son has received the recessive from the mother. And because of this intermediate, the father also has one recessive A. This recessive A. So this son has received recessive and recessive from the parents. And that's how the son is albino. Nothing is mentioned about the daughter. So, we assume that the daughter has normal skin color. What are the possibilities? Now, she can receive capital A from mother, small a from father, one possibility. Second, dominant from mother, dominant from father. But, can it be A and A, recessive and recessive? If it was like that, Something would have been mentioned in this question, but there's nothing mentioned. But this is also a possibility. As nothing is mentioned, we assume that she has intermediate and we don't take this situation. So from using what information was given to us in the question, we have plotted the pedigree using those symbols. And on the basis of where the trait is, we are trying to write the genotypes of the offsprings. So this is one way or one question by which we are able to understand how to plot a pedigree and how to identify the genotypes of the offspring.